This may be the new 2023 budget flagship king. For just £450, it offers a 200 megapixel camera, world's first flickerless 3840Hz screen, blazing 66 watt fast charging, insane battery life. I mean, there is a lot going on for this price. This is the brand new Honor 90 that I've been testing out for almost two weeks now. I took this phone to my trip to Amsterdam, where I tested out its real life performance, putting everything to its absolute limits. Let's begin with what really makes this phone amazing. It's the world's first phone to have a flickerless screen with a whopping 3840 Hz PWM number, meaning it is indeed the best smartphone display for your eyes. So if you're someone who gets eye strain very easily when you're using your phone for a longer period of time, this display is going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Again, not everyone is very sensitive to flickering, but I really want other brands to step up their PWM number so we get a better experience for our eyes. The display has a smooth 120Hz refresh rate with 1600 nits of peak brightness and unlike some brands, Honor made sure that this phone looks just as proper flagship as you would expect to see a thousand dollar phone. We have super slim bezels with slide curves making this phone an absolute premium device. Now on the back, the design is kind of unique, I mean at least for me personally because this is the first time I'm using a phone with a dual texture finish. The top is completely glossy while the bottom has this matrix pattern to it which not only looks cool but also helps with a better grip. Now we have two huge lenses on the back of this phone with triple camera setup. The main lens is 200 megapixel along with 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a dedicated 2 megapixel depth sensor along with a 50 megapixel selfie sensor. Now I'm very critical about cameras because this is one of the reasons why I use super expensive phones because camera experience is just really really good but this phone is definitely one of the best cameras I've tested in this price range. This 200 megapixel main sensor captures a lot of detail combined with Honor's impressive work when it comes to image processing on not only the back camera, but also the front camera. Take a look at this. I was taking a selfie with this background with intense bright sun behind me. And normally when you're shooting selfies in high resolution mode, you don't really get the best dynamic range, but this phone just absolutely killed it. Colors and details were on point consistently as I tested out multiple times. I was able to go full high megapixel without any loss of dynamic range, which is just great. Now, when it comes to videos, there's no 4K 60 FPS option, but you can shoot 4K 30 FPS on all lenses on this phone, including the front camera, and switch them simultaneously while you're shooting in that mode, which is just not something you can do on many smartphones out there. In order to get the maximum maximum quality for your Instagram, you have to shoot within the actual main camera app. But the problem with most phones is that you can't switch between different lenses, especially the back and front camera sensor. But that's not an issue on this phone because I can record in 4K, switch back and forth, show the scene, show myself and just have a good high quality content for my social media. Because of the high resolution, we also get a 2x sensor zoom, which does a pretty good job in most lighting scenarios. Now, while I was testing out these cameras all day, going to the weekend's concert, I mean, I was still ending the phone with 30% battery. It indeed has a solid battery performance and things just get even better thanks to the 66 watt fast charging. Now, what about the performance? Well, this is the first phone that I've tested with the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 Accelerated Edition chip. While it is Qualcomm's high-end mid-range chip, I honestly couldn't tell the difference compared to some premium phones out there because it was just such a smooth experience. I may not be a big fan of their UI skin, but one thing that I really appreciate about Honor phones is their smoothness and UI animation. I was able to play my favorite games without any issues. Plus, if you like to do gaming on bigger screen or transform this phone into a desktop, then you can do that thanks to the easy projection option. As for Honor's software skin, it is pretty lightweight. They can definitely add more customization punch to it, especially a proper lock screen customization 
optimization. I hope to see all of that with the Android 14 that is just right around the corner. Overall, Honor 90 is a solid budget flagship option. Yes, it's kind of weird saying these two words together, but it is true because these phones are not high-end mid-range phones anymore. These are budget flagships that provide a lot of flagship level features at a lower price. Like I said, in the UK, it's costing £450, competing against the likes of Galaxy A54 and the Pixel 7a. I gotta say, there is a lot that Honor has put in in this price package, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.